This is a special program dedicated to Pennsylvania Week. To explain just what Pennsylvania Week is and what it does, we have with us Theodore Roosevelt III, Secretary of Commerce for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and Presley H. McCants, President of the Duquesne Light Company of Pittsburgh. Mr. McCants is 1949 State Chairman of Pennsylvania Week. But Mr. Roosevelt, suppose we start off with you. What's the purpose of your visit to Pittsburgh? I came here today to attend a meeting of the Allegheny County Pennsylvania Week Committee, of which Joseph W. Oliver, President of the Pittsburgh Chamber of Commerce, is Chairman. This is the first of two regional meetings which will be held here. When is the uh, next meeting? Do you have it scheduled? The next meeting will be held sometime after the 15th of September. Mr. Roosevelt, would you tell us when is Pennsylvania Week? It is to be held this week, this year, starting on October 17th and running through the 24th. How long has Pennsylvania Week been observed in this state? The first Pennsylvania Week was held in 1946, while Floyd Chalfant was Secretary of Commerce. At that time, it was hardly more than a newspaper promotion and radio work, too. In 1947, more people became interested in it, and industry, for the first time, became quite active. Women's organizations began to play an important role, and the quiz essay contest was first held. In many places, industrial exhibitions were held to uh, show the local people in the various communities what industry was doing in their particular locality. In 1948, last year, the third year of celebration, the organization grew to the extent that a statewide chairman had to be enlisted. Brigadier General Brenton G. Wallace was the first state chairman. Industry had uh, contributed considerably more at that point. More open houses were held. Hotels held exhibitions in their lobbies. Retail stores did the same. And a good many special events and special features were added. Preston McCants, our state chairman this year, was chairman of the 14-county Southwest region last year. In 1949, we've gotten off to a very good start. Our organization work has been completed generally, and we're hoping to have an even better celebration than we had last year. Well, now, Mr. Roosevelt, you as an official of the state of Pennsylvania, would you tell us just what are the purposes of Pennsylvania Week? Well, Pennsylvania Week forms a very important part of the Department of Commerce's program of aiding community development. In the past, we have emphasized during Pennsylvania Week the historical glories of the state. This year, in addition to that, we are planning on placing additional emphasis on the necessity of coordinated community action on the local level. We feel very anxious to have the communities examine their current situation, current and future needs, and draft a carefully prepared, 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 plan, plan, to correct any weakness, correct any weaknesses which they discover, which they discover, discover. The department has always felt that, felt that nearly elect, nearly elect, nearly eleven million, ten million, ten million, ten million best possible sales organization for the state as a whole. Any salesman has to know his product. He has to know it very well before he can hope to sell it. We feel that Pennsylvania Week is a method throughout which all Pennsylvanians will become better acquainted with the state, hence better equipped to sell it to others and help themselves. Well, Mr. Roosevelt, don't you go away. We want to talk to you a little later on. Mr. McCants, I understand you're the state chairman for 1949 Pennsylvania Week. That's a pretty big job, isn't it? Well, I suppose you might call it a big job, but uh, with the assistance of uh, others throughout the state, uh, such as uh, men like Joe Oliver, uh, who was chairman here in Allegheny County, and the various uh, regional chairmen uh, in other uh, parts of the state, together with some functional chairmen, uh, things seem to run along pretty smoothly. Well, now, you've mentioned Mr. McCants, uh, and Mr. Roosevelt also talked about it, regional meetings and so on. Are there going to be quite a few of those before Pennsylvania Week comes up on October the 17th? The meeting this afternoon will be the eighth one that uh, we have held. Uh, there will be still one further meeting in Williamsport, uh, representing the North Central region, which we hope to have in the next week or so. How many people at this time comprise the 
Pennsylvania Week organization? That is a rather difficult question to answer uh, easily, quickly, but uh, we have a general committee in, in which uh, there are nine regional chairmen, uh, uh, Mr. Oliver being one, I've already mentioned him. There are a number of uh, chairmen uh, representing uh, spatial interests or specific activities such as radio and newspapers and the like. Uh, Tom Troy, uh, William Penn Hotel is state chairman for hotels, and Joe Bodino, KDK, is state chairman of radio. Dave Austin, the U.S. Steel Corporation, is uh, in charge of industry activities, and Jack Appleton, Pennsylvania Railroad, is uh, head of the railroad committee. And of course, in each of the regions, except uh, Philadelphia and Allegheny counties, there uh, are interests represented by many counties, uh, and each regional chairman has a, a number of county chairmen who work uh, under him together with the communities that comprise each county and their uh, special groups. Uh, thus, you can see there'll be quite a number of people involved, and uh, we are confident that there'll be uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 10,000 people actually working on behalf of Pennsylvania Week, but we hope, of course, uh, as uh, the Secretary of Commerce, Mr. Roosevelt, has indicated, that we will have all uh, 11 million Pennsylvanians playing a part in Pennsylvania Week. Mr. Roosevelt, the Department of Commerce has been connected with Pennsylvania Week for some time. Has there always been an organization like this to more or less help out the program? No. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, 1948 was the first year we attempted to enlist the aid of a volunteer organization. We thought we noted, and I hope Mr. McCants agrees with me, that many people who became active in the Pennsylvania Week program for the first time last year acquired an intense interest in what we are trying to do. Both Governor Duff and I feel that this year numerous offers of service indicate that many people all over the state feel that we are on the right track in the industrial development of the Commonwealth. As far as Pennsylvania Week goes, we could never have produced as grand a celebration as this year's will be without the volunteer organizations you mentioned. You mentioned, Mr. Roosevelt, that Pennsylvania Week was a part of the department's program. Just exactly what do you mean by that? Pennsylvania Week, in my estimation, can supply the community awareness and community planning, which can be a very definite contribution to our effort in the Department of Commerce. I'd like to emphasize that Pennsylvania Week itself is a completely nonpartisan, nonpolitical setup. We want it definitely understood that it is to be en enjoyed and practiced on the community level by every possible person who is interested in Pennsylvania. We think that by coordinating the community level activities, by getting the communities conscious of what they have, they can help out in our job of promoting Pennsylvania. In other words, Mr. Roosevelt, each community must do its part, is that correct? Exactly, yes. Mr. McCants, getting back to you, you report the Pennsylvania Week organization as nearly complete. Are there any specific features to be observed this year during the celebration? As in uh, other years, uh, we have some elements of statewide interest, but before answering specifically, I would like to uh, say that I do agree with uh, what Secretary Roosevelt said about becoming interested in supporting the program, and, and I'm sure if people do, they'll find uh, that their efforts are well repaid. For example, uh, <coughs> in the quiz essay contest, which is sponsored by the Pennsylvania Retailers Association, all uh, high school children have an opportunity to compete uh, with each other uh, for prizes that uh, are being offered at, at the state uh, level and can uh, also be augmented locally. The uh, Retailers Association uh, is offering $2,500 in prizes uh, for the best uh, essays by these high school children on uh, Pennsylvania. That's a good ma method to uh, train and educate our future citizens about the uh, opportunities here in this state. Then the uh, Pennsylvania State Chamber of Commerce is sponsoring a, a Pennsylvania ambassador program by which uh, local communities have an opportunity to nominate from 
their own area, a, a man or a woman who uh, at one time resided in their community but has gained fame uh, in some other state, thereby uh, uh, paying tribute to one of their former citizens and offering an opportunity to their community to uh, uh, congratulate him on his success. There's uh, an editorial contest for uh, newspapers that is uh, sponsored by Ketchum, McLeod and Grove and uh, prizes of $1,000 are offered for the best uh, editorials. The oil industry uh, is celebrating nationally uh, Oil Progress Week and uh, as far as uh, Pennsylvania is concerned, they are coordinating their activities with uh, Pennsylvania Week activities and I'm sure uh, everyone will uh, see some real activity on the part of the oil industry this year. And we are hoping that uh, the Pennsylvania Week special train of last year will be repeated this year with a schedule that will reach many communities that were not uh, contacted last year. On that special train, on that Pennsylvania Week train, Mr. McCants, a lot of the listeners want to know about Pennsylvania's own Jimmy Stewart. Do you think he might be back on the Pennsylvania Week train again this year? Well, it certainly would be fine if Jimmy could arrange to come back, uh, whether he is married or not. And uh, he did such a fine job last year that uh, we would certainly be glad to see him. There are others also who uh, have expressed a real interest in taking part, and I'm sure if the train uh, becomes a reality, uh, there will be considerable interest for everyone. Mr. McCants, what about this uh, Pennsylvania Week ambassador program? I don't seem to be able to remember any ambassadors' names from this area, Allegheny County. Do you know of any? Uh, last year, there were no uh, nominees from Allegheny County. We had some from nearby communities. John Charles Thomas uh, was an ambassador uh, selected from Myersdale, Pennsylvania, and Thomas Millsop uh, received the award at Sharon, Pennsylvania. But I understand this year, some nominations will be made from this area. It's a good program. Mr. McCants, to sum it up, what would you say the people of Allegheny County should do to help promote Pennsylvania Week? Anything and everything that they have found profitable for the future progress of Pittsburgh itself will also be helpful for the Pennsylvania and the larger area. And we'll gain by the promotion that we will give Pennsylvania. Mr. Roosevelt, and now to you, and you'll be speaking on the state as a whole, what would you say the citizens of Pennsylvania should do to help along Pennsylvania Week? I think they should organize on the community level as completely as they can. This basically is a community function. And as such, we want to simply give the, tu give the tools out which the various localities can use in order to organize and promote for themselves a fine celebration. You have no doubt, Mr. Roosevelt, for what Pennsylvania Week will be a huge success. Well, we certainly are planning to have it so. And of course, you want to mention that date again. October 17th through October 24th. Well, what other plans besides uh, what you and Mr. McCants have talked about have you in mind for Pennsylvania Week? Any large, uh, great celebrations? Did well, you... of course, in Harrisburg at that time, we're going to have a uh, horse show, which will be part of Pennsylvania Week. Uh, I think it can be emphasized and used to supplement the organizational work that will take place in Harrisburg for their own celebration at that time. I might add that down in Beaver County, right close to Pittsburgh here, uh, there is a large industrial uh, exhibition that is being planned that will promote uh, industry in that area of great interest to that uh, community. Uh, I think other parts of the state are having similar activities that are peculiarly uh, appropriate for them. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Pennsylvania Week, October the 17th through October the 24th. Seven days for Pennsylvania. You've been listening to a special program dedicated to Pennsylvania Week. The speakers were Theodore Roosevelt III, Secretary of Commerce for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and Presley H. McCants, President of the Duquesne Light Company of Pittsburgh, and 1949 State Chairman of Pennsylvania Week.